paralysis impacts and improves everyday lives and has benefits across all levels of society, from feeding global population to developing and producing new drugs, such as the recent COVID antivirals that relied on biocatalysis. It cleans up your car exhaust, it's in the fibres of the clothes you wear. It's key in developing sustainable energy, cleaning up water and providing a future for us all. I got given the opportunity as a PhD student, something like 10 years ago, to start work here using neutron methods to study how molecules behave in microporous materials, microporous catalysts. And the hub was instrumental in supporting me throughout and giving me uh, world-class facilities, world-class expertise to work with. The solutions and tools that we develop, they actually help and have an impact on real-life applications and problem solving. My research aims to contribute to petrochemical industries for creating fuels as well as many different industries such as pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals and basically instead of using crude oil we want to use biomass instead and find a way to successfully convert it. The work that we've been doing on dropping replacements for polyvinyl chloride and it's really had a transformative effect where they still use mercury chloride as the catalyst and they don't have the money to upgrade the reactors. So this is something that is very, very important for me. It's very clear in terms of uh, supporting growth that supporting early career researchers is, is one of the priorities of the hub. And I've been a direct beneficiary of that throughout my career. So whether it was just after I finished my PhD, help in finding postdoc positions and giving me the best kind of base possible, all the way from supporting my applications for, for fellowships and grant applications since then, and crucially giving students who are in my, my group, which I run as, a, as an early career researcher, the, the best place to perform their research as well. The Catalysis Hub has been brilliantly successful at bringing groups together so we talk more to each other. We, we have a better understanding of the landscape across the country and indeed across the world. The Catalysis Hub has been great for promoting catalysis that happens in the UK internationally. A huge component that excites me is this idea of decarbonising the, the chemical industry. The idea that we could support the growth of industry, different exciting industries throughout the country, throughout Europe, throughout the world, in a sustainable way. And uh, catalysis is going to play a, a crucial role in that. Advances in areas like photocatalysis and electrocatalysis are particularly promising for clean energy technologies, so such as hydrogen production and solar fuels. Plastics, for example, is one of the massive problems that we are facing at the moment. So catalysis is massively involved in remediation of waste and plastics. We really need to kind of have a rethink in how we see chemistry and move from an extractive regime into a circular economy regime. And the one thing about catalysts is catalysts are recycled. They are innately circular. The resources in the research complex are fantastic. The research complex at Harwell is a slightly unusual institution. It's made up of lots of different research groups. Catalysis Hub is one of the major players here. Harwell XPS is one of the other players. And what's special about it is that collaboration between all the different groups. So we work with many different groups within the research complex. I was heavily involved in a few different projects that worked with several different universities and also different facilities on the Harwell campus. The, the main one was I worked with Diamond alongside the Catalysis Hub and also there was a lot of collaboration with ISIS Neutron and Muon Source where I am now working and that was really beneficial and my understanding of different types of science really was brought together by working with lots of different people from different areas. So I think what motivates me about working in this field is the people and the community that I work with and also the potential for the future. I've always found research and development a really interesting way of working. I believe I can make a change no matter how small it is. You will be at the forefront of the changes that society is making towards a greener, better economy. 
the big moves in chemistry are all happening and are focused in catalysis. The moves towards multidisciplinarity, the moves towards collaboration. I think catalysis is that field where it sits right at the heart of that Venn diagram. Significant challenges as an early career researcher involve effectively navigating the funding landscape. There are lots of different approaches, lots of different opportunities that you have to either start your group or maintain your research. But the best thing you can do really is learn from those that are, that are more experienced. And we have people of all different career levels and there's always someone you can talk to to, uh, to guide you through whatever stage you're trying to, to work through. There are so many applications and it's always changing that I think that's what's exciting about it. It's never standing still and there's always somewhere to go and a new project or a new catalyst to invent. I do look forward to coming to work in the morning either to fight something we have to get past or to, to revel in something that we've succeeded in. Mm -hmm.